So uh, you no, know, I know um, in the Illinois game, rebounds was a was a huge part in in that struggle today. Complete dominance on the boards. How important was it going into this game, winning the rebound, re, winning the rebound battle? Uh, it was it was definitely a, a major emphasis. They are, that's a team that plays hard, and you know they they try to get extra chance points anytime they can. So um, for personally and as a team, you know we tried to get all the rebounds, tried to keep all the second chance points away from them, and you know limit their limit their shots so we could get out on uh, transition. Obviously, the defense was successful in the first half, but what were the what were the the tweaks that were put in at halftime to be able to hold them to basically almost ten minutes over ten minutes without scoring? Uh, it was a maturity thing, you know, uh, zero zero. Like our coach always says, you know, going out there and keeping our, you know, we hadn't won the game yet, still twenty minutes going out there being mature, you know, still locking up, keeping our foot on the pedal, you know, killing their confidence, so you know we can go ahead and end the game and not be in a dog fight. Okay. Um, you know, what was, as the game went on, what were some of the things that Bowles was telling the team to, to keep mind of, even though, you know, there was a, it was a blowout? How did he keep you guys still engaged in the game? Um, you know, we were we were rooting for each other. Whoever subbed in, you know, we're all one big family, so we wanted to see everyone do good. And uh, even when they made mistakes, just coaching them from the side, and you know, um, just keeping everybody focused, I think was the biggest thing. Like we were all engaged. We all wanted to see everyone do good. Colin, Mike, Jalen, Mark, all those guys who usually don't get a lot of minutes. So just staying engaged. That's a uh, that's also a part of a maturity thing. Yeah, it's been a it's been a long nine days. What? What sort of went into the preparation this week to be ready for this game, and how good did it feel to get back out on the court? It felt good, especially this is my first game in the convo uh, over here. Um, it was definitely uh, – I feel like it was definitely successful. Preparation, um, how do – it was – the biggest thing is how do we respond to a loss. I know Illinois was a top eight team, but, you know, at the end of the day, we still lost. You know, everyone, you know, said how we fought in that game, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's still a loss column. So responding to – this the way we did, I felt everyone uh, was great. You know, after uh, people were getting up extra shots, extra sprints, extra uh, weight sessions in after practice, and uh, you know, just uh, learning the sets and uh, making sure we came into the game knowing all their sets and being able to say it in the game and uh, help each other out and talk on defense. I think the preparation was very, very good leading up to the game. You now, you, you score 101 points, you, you hold them under 50. You know, a lot of good to take away from this game, but where do you feel like there's still room for improvement, even in a blow win like this? Um, I think communication. There were some times where communication led to some of their baskets. Uh, so just communication. Uh, um, I would say, uh, I guess another is free throws. I think uh, we missed a little too many, uh, too much free throws as a team. But that's just, that's just come with, uh, that will come with extra work. And, um, you know, just making sure throughout the course of the game, we stay, uh, we stay defensively sound. I think some, uh, I think a few, uh, we tried to gamble a couple of times and it, come to, it kind of hurt us. So just learning from that, watching film, seeing where we can get better from. A game like this with such a big lead that you guys had, uh, you know, it's obvious that confidence is going to be through the roof for most of the game, but how do you kind of keep that from, confidence from turning into cockiness through the game? Um, for my previous, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a saying, you're never as good as you think you are and you're never as bad as you think you are. So um, we got to take this and understand that, you know, that is a good team. You know, you know the, the ball just went, the, the odds were in our favor. The ball went in for us a little bit more. We locked in on defense, but we respect each opponent and prepare for them as if it was a championship game. And that also speaks to the character of the guys because there's not one ego in this in, in in this locker room at all. Like no one's cocky, no one's looking to be the guy. Everyone looks out for each other. Everyone's humble. So I think um, as far as getting, we just have to keep working. I think the cockiness would come in the lack of preparation. But uh, having a coach like Jeff Bowles and our coach staff there, you know, they're not gonna let that happen by any means. So um, as long as we keep doing what we're supposed to do, I don't think that should set in. 
How big was London McDay for you guys today? I know he's he's coming into his second year trying to grow and, you know, put sort of that consistency together. How big is it for this team when he's hitting shots the way that he was hitting today? It's, it's very good. I, uh, that, that guy is really good. For him to be able to score, outscore his opponents and then lock them up on defense, I think that's really special. Most, uh, most players are usually one-sided, but for him to be able to play on both sides of the ball and for him to work as hard as he does, like he, he's, he's a valuable asset to our team. And, you know, I, I, you know he's only going to get better as the season gets, keeps going. You know, it's your it's your first game in the convo. How was it out there? You know, obviously with the the lack of fans, being able to still be able to create your own energy. Um, it was different. It was definitely um, as shots were going. I think you know we kind of, you know, kind of tuned everything out and just played our ball. You know, we can't really worry about the fans. Uh, I wish we, you know it was a little bit more in here, but you know that'll be that'll be for a later time. But you know what? Uh, once we got some dunks going and, you know, some defensive stops, it was pretty much, you know, and, and the bench was big and, you know, keeping our energy up. And the way they, you know, keep got, kept giving us energy as we kept getting stops and layups and threes and dunks and stuff like that. So I think us, uh, you know, doing what we're supposed to do and uh, staying together, that's what creates the energy. You know, that you're 40 from, from the first half to the second half. There's a 40-0 run. Apparently that is NCAA history today, the largest over two Division I teams. What was it like to be on the bench, you know, seeing your guys come in and still maintain that dominance? Uh, it speaks to, you know, um, you know the, the, the recruiting and uh, how far we've come as a team. You know, um, a, you know, a team is only as strong as our weakest link. And, you know, everyone acknowledges that. Everyone works hard. Everyone comes in early and leaves late. The, the culture that is here is, 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 is anything like I've ever experienced. Like there, you know, everyone, everyone is a, a competitor. Everyone works hard. Everyone, you know, you know, practices. When we scrimmage, it's competitive like a championship game. Everyone gets in extra. You know, they, they, we compete to see who try to get, uh, gets to the gym first. You know, everyone shows up at least an hour before practice. So I think the culture that was made here by Coach Bowles and the staff, I think it's amazing, and I'm I'm glad to be a part of it. Hey, London, how you doing? Good. How y'all doing? Pretty good. So, um, you know, coming into this game, obviously, is a you know nine nine day off. What was what was sort of what did you want to show in this game coming off of a, a nine game a nine day break from the trip to Illinois? Honestly, that we, we've been working every day. You know, since that loss, we were like, yeah, we were so close. But, I mean, when it really comes down to it, it was a couple plays we could have had to win that game. So, we just wanted to come out and just, just play hard and play harder than them so we can get this game and get this win. Now, what was what was working for you today? You were hitting your shots and your rhythm. Like, did you did you put more practice in? Did you, you know, have a good night's sleep? Like, what what basically went into your performance today? Uh, the coaches after practice, we always shoot three. So when the first couple went in, I just felt good. And, and I just got into the flow of the game even better. And then you got JP, he's a great passer. So he's always going to find us. So we just got to knock down the shot. You know, um, how do you, you – you hold them to 25 in the first half. That's a, that's a great for, for defense. What, it, what were the tweaks to be able to come into the second half and hold them scoreless for over 10 minutes? Honestly, it was how we, our mentality. So we had to just be mature, realize it was 0-0 zero, zero, and play just as hard as the first half in the second half. So to stay in the gaps, just just keep playing hard, honestly. Don't yeah. let down just because we're up, you know what I mean? Both you and Dwight mentioned maturity. Is that something that you felt like this team had last season or do you feel like that maturity is growing from a year before? I definitely feel like it's growing. I mean, we had it a little bit, but I think it's definitely growing this year. Especially since as freshmen, you know, we got to we gotta play like we're juniors, you know, because we had to play a lot last year. So I honestly feel like the maturity has grown over the year. What do you feel like? You, you mentioned mentality, but what else do you feel like really helped that defense lock in and, and force them into bad shots, turnovers, all that in the second half? Our communication was good as well. I mean, we're loud on the court. Everyone can hear us. So And we're, getting, we're just building chemistry every single game. So that's another thing that helped. Yeah, you know, first game of the season in the convo. 
how was it for you, you know, making a big shot and not hearing the roar of the fans? Like, how did you still make, create that energy for you in a game like this where it was basically over at halftime? So, I mean, the fans and everything, it was kind of weird, but uh, I don't know. I just, just, just hit the shot and just kept going. I don't know. Just keep playing. I don't really worry about it. You know, you, miss, you mentioned Jason Preston. Obviously, you know, every game's not going to be a 31-point a performance, but when he's, you know, still getting everybody involved and, you know, getting rebounds, how big is his presence on the court even when he's not scoring at a high rate? It's very big. I mean, because he can facilitate. He can, he can keep us going. He passes the ball. He rebounds. He pushes. He makes plays. So you, you honestly can just see how his presence helps the game. So that's all I can really say about that. Well, this team showed – at moments last year that it was, you know, it could be, it could be dangerous, but this year, you know, all the, the attention from the Illinois game and the eyes are on this team. What is it about this squad right now that deserves all this attention and, and deserves to be looked at as, you know, one of the top mid majors in the country? Uh, we work hard, we're disciplined every day and we just, our energy is crazy and we compete every single day and we just work. So I think that's the main thing. We work and we put in the work and we're disciplined. I mean, um, you go. So you guys talk a lot about energy and how it's important that you guys motivate each other. Now, my question is, like, how do you guys keep this energy up for like a game that's kind of, like they said, it's over at halftime. How do you guys keep this energy that's so crazy through a whole full game? Well, it starts with JP. And Ben, you know, keeping us level-headed, keeping us mentally stable, you know, just, just getting ready for that next half. So it just starts with our leaders, and it, it just flows down, and everybody gets it. Like, we get it. Like, we got to play hard. We can't worry about the score. We just got to play as hard as the first half. Does it take, um, take a long time to kind of build that really calm, collected mentality that, you get, you know, JP and uh, Ben have, like, kind of built into you guys for a while? Uh. Honestly, not really, because the new guys picked up on it quick. So, I mean, it's, it's not really that. I don't know. You just got great leaders, so it, it's just easy. It's effortless. And then we got great coaches, too. So, that just, just adds more fire into it. How could it, How could have today gone even better? I mean, great offensive performance, fantastic on the defensive. But when you think about how the game went, what could have even been even sharper? Man, that's hard to say. Uh, deep, I don't, I don't know. That's hard to say. We played a great game. I mean, there's obviously going to be mistakes, so I, I don't know. I, I can't really answer that one. Did you want to start off with a statement, or you want to just dive right in? Yeah, I think um, you know, really proud of our guys for bringing the energy and effort level. You know, for 40 minutes. And that was one big thing coming into the game. We were really concerned about with Cleveland State is, you know, they couldn't come in here and exceed our energy or, or effort level. And I thought we got off to a great start, you know, the first couple of wars uh, of the game. And then even at halftime, you know, we talked about being a mature team, being a disciplined team. You know, we rose 0-0 on the board at halftime. Um, you know, even though we were up 26, and I'm just really proud of the way our guys came out and extended that lead. And then, you know, even, even when you get a, a, as big a lead as you we got, you know, sometimes the, the second, third guys come in and it gets a little sloppy. I thought our guys did a great job of really trying to execute and do what we do. And uh, I'm just proud of them. You know, maturity <clears throat> is a word that we've heard a, a lot. We've heard it from Dwight today. We've heard it from you. And now we, we heard it from London just a few minutes ago. How have you seen your team mature in these, in these first two years? Well, I think you know, we're, we're still pretty young. You know, we, the only senior on our roster is DJ, you know, Dwight Wilson. You know, you got some experienced guys in, in JP, BBP, and, and, you know, even London's a sophomore and B-Rod's a sophomore. And, you know, you really focus as a coach on doing the right thing consistently on a daily basis. And I think that's for us the next step of just maturity-wise of coming in every day, getting better, you know, understanding what needs to be done, and really – you know, taking the energy effort level, um, you know, every single game, you know, one at a time. And uh, so I think that's kind of what we approach and what we talk about and you know, just having that maturity to stay focused. 
you know, it's it's not easy to keep a team scoreless for for ten minutes, over ten minutes. What was it from your defense during that stretch that just made them make Cleveland State struggle so much? I think our activity was really good on the ball. Our communication was really good. Um, you know, I thought we did a great job preparation, scouting wise, and of knowing what they're going to do. And you know, I think to go on a big run like that, you know, there's a lot of things that need to happen. You know, they got to miss shots. Um, you know, which I'm sure they're missing, you know, ones that they'll normally make. But I think, you know, when, when things like that happen, you know, you don't want to be front runners. You know, you, you know, when the going's good, you can't be rah-rah. You know, you got to handle prosperity. Understand why, you know, you got the stops that you got. And, um, you know, I thought we just kept on staying focused possession by possession. And, you know, we, we talk about, you know, getting seven kills a game and it kills three stops in a row. I'm not sure how many kills we got for the game, but you know, I guarantee it's one of the highest we've ever gotten. Um, and, and really, just the focus our guys had on a, you know, every possession mentality. You know, it's it's hard to be able to garner energy in a in a stadium where there's barely any fans. Who on your sideline was doing a really good job of keeping energy on the team and on the court as well? Yeah, I think, I think if you look at JL, you know, the good thing is we practice in here every day. You know, with no fans, you know, so it's kind of a practice type mentality. You know, we played at Illinois three games without any fans, so that kind of helped us, you know, prepare and and you know, really, really everybody. You know, we we kind of had a talk uh, going into Illinois, like we got to bring juice on the bench, like all 15 guys got to be involved. And if you saw us play at Illinois, our bench was. I got more text messages about our bench energy than I did about almost beating Illinois and Jason Preston's 31 points. So give our guys a lot of credit for that. You guys talk a lot about humility, and Dwight and London had both said that it's a very Ohio mentality, or that a lot of the freshmen that come here pretty quickly uh, picked up the idea to not really get too cocky and keep it humble and, you know, treat every opponent like it's the MAC championship. So I'm, my question really is for you, what, do you, what is it about – your staff or your team that just really kind of fosters this humility that a lot of guys are picking up on so easily? Yeah, I think, Jack, if you look at it, you know, number one, it's the type of young man that we want in our program. And then the way they were raised and with their family. And, you know, I think humility is one of the best things you can have in life. And, you know, we always talk about it's never as good as it seems, never as bad as it seems. You know, how do you handle adversity? How do you handle prosperity? And, you know, I think, you know, college, basketball, athletics, you know, college in general teaches you a lot of life lessons. And humility is one of the best ones you can have. And, you know, right now with everything that's going on, like today was the only guaranteed day, right, game. You know, tomorrow's a new day. And, and the big thing I keep on talking to them about, don't ever get tired of preparing to win. And that, that's even more so, like, I'm nervous right now. We got some family members here where, you know, you got to be smart. We got to wear a mask. We got to social distance. And that's hard to do when mom comes from out of town and, you know, you want to hug. So I think just understanding what it takes on a daily basis and, and not getting too high, not getting too low, staying the course and being consistent. Um, obviously, Dwight had 18 points and 14 rebounds. Um, how have you liked how he's fit into this offense um, so far in these first four games? Yeah, he's been phenomenal, you know, Joe. I think if you look at him, he's a he's a guy you can throw the ball to in the block, and he's either going to score the ball, get fouled, or, you know, draw a double team to create a mismatch. And when you have a guy like that who can demand that attention, everything else is a little bit easier. You know, we, we had a 20-minute scrimmage on uh, Wednesday, and he probably played 16 of the 20 minutes. You know, he had 19 points and six rebounds, you know, in that 16 minutes he played. And I think – you know, he got a lot of confidence, you know, with how he played against Illinois. And obviously tonight he was phenomenal. You know, just dominated the boards. You know, I think he got a double-double in 18 minutes maybe. And uh, he's going to be a big part of what we're doing going forward. How big do you feel like this game helped grow the confidence of some of your younger players? You know, guys like Sam who who saw some shots go down. Mark's, Mark Sears took pretty good care of the ball at times. You know, how do you feel like – showing out against, even though it's, you know, it was a blowout win, being able to see that success for the younger guys did for their confidence. Yeah, you know, those guys are all going to be really good. And it's tough to play 
15 guys and you know you, you want those guys to come in ready to go for their opportunity because you saw Ben Roderick went down. So now it's like an opportunity for someone to step up. And, you know, it's, it's, it's the same thing normally as a freshman, right? You're, you're just up and down. You have good day, bad day, good day. You want that consistency. You want that effort level. And this will be really good to get on tape. You know, these guys, the minutes they played, where we can show them, like, hey, this is how you need to do it. And the be best thing I thought is the intensity level didn't drop you know, as the game went on and when those guys were in there. You know, they played the game the right way. They shared the basketball. And, you know, they're going to make mistakes. You know, they're freshmen. But it's, this is a great teachable moment, you know, game that we can show uh, film to them and, and they'll get better and better. Did it play today that, you know, really stuck out to you about being able to see them break through? Someone that you've been waiting on or just someone you were happy to see have their moment? You know, I think, you know, th those guys all work hard. And, you know, as a coach, like I said, you can't play everybody. And, you know, I wish I could play everybody 20 minutes every game, but you can't. And sometimes as 18 to 22-year-olds, it's difficult to come in and practice every day and, you know, play hard, play with a great effort and energy level and focus and then not play in a game. And, you know, I think with us, it's just keeping that mentality of, you know, day-to-day, -day, be ready, you know, be ready. And, um, you know, I'm just happy to see those guys, you know, come in and get minutes and, Hopefully we can continue that, you know, throughout the course of the year.